फ्रेंड्स वी आर डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिंग द पोजिशनिंग एंड द सरफेस एनाटमी ऑफ हिप आर्थ्रोस्कोपी सो इन हिप आर्थ्रोस्कोपी द पेशेंट इज प्लेस ऑन अ फ्रैक्चर टेबल लाइक यू डू योर एनी फ्रैक्चर सर्जरीज एंड द अदर लिम इज एबेड टू अलाउ द सी आर्म टू एंटर इन टू द स्पेस हियर द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज यू नीड टू हैव अ सेंट्रल पोस्ट विच इज अ बिगर पोस्ट सो दैट यू कैन गिव अ एडिक्वेट लेटरल ट्रैक्शन टू द पेशेंट वेन यू आर डूइंग अ सेंट्रल कंपार्टमेंट यू नीड टू कीप द लिम इन एक्सटेंशन एंड वेन यू आर डूइंग अ पेरिफ्रल कंपार्टमेंट यू नीड टू डू अ लिटल बिट ऑफ फ्लैक्शन ऑन द नी The most important thing here is to give a traction. Now the traction should be twofold. You should be able to give give a traction on the uh, line of the limb and a traction laterally. So both these traction are important in in order to open the joint for the central compartment. For the peripheral compartment, after the traction is been released, we will do a gentle flexion at the knee joint to increase. the space of the peripheral compartment now as far as the the surface anatomy is concerned there are two landmarks the first landmark is the anterior superior iliac spine that is called as an aiss and the second landmark is the greater uh, trochanter now uh, we the standard portals are the anterior lateral portal which is the first portal which you can make either directly or under the iitv cm guidance the second portal is posterior lateral portal which is actually made by weaving in, uh, from inside and by an outside in technique and the third portal is an anterior portal which we will make somewhere around here and this portal will usually be the working portal by using this portal we can do a little bit of capsulotomy to increase the uh, movement of the instruments inside the hip joint so these are the three portals we will be using for the central compartment for the peripheral compartment you can use another portal which is here which is called as a mid anterior portal and one portal here which is tangential to the femoral neck so uh, beside these three portals you can pay place two portals here and here for the evaluation and procedural conditions for the peripheral compartment now important thing here is in the peripheral compartment you will be able to see the anterior part well because the posterior part capsule is attached more superiorly on the neck as compared to the anterior part the capsule is attached more inferiorly so in the peripheral compartment the capsule is more attached inferiorly on the anterior part so the most of the work we will be doing is on the anterior part of the femoral neck and if you have a synovial pathology most of the work that you will do will be in the peripheral compartment because if you have a loose bodies or synovial pathology like pvns you will be working in the peripheral compartment for the central compartment you need to work in, uh, if you have to need to work in the fossa or you have a labral tear or if you need to do some kind of a labral repairs then you need to do a uh, work in the central compartment so let's start with the procedure